Hey everybody, it's Everett back with you from Hood Time Welding. Today we're going to actually be talking about a garage door again. Um, you actually saw my other video, or I hope you saw my other video of me installing my regular garage door opener on a regular Genie garage door opener on my one of my shop doors. Today we're going to be talking about uh, low clearance garage doors. We're not going to go through and um, show the whole installation, but what we are going to show is the problem I found is on most garage doors you're going to need uh, per specs like six to eight inches. And what they're talking about is you can see I have the door open part of the way and they're talking about from the ceiling down to here, down to this top edge right here. Um, as you can see, mine is sitting at an inch and a half. So I saw two other videos and um, what it was is the guy, one of the videos the guy had for where it attaches to the door there, he had this long bar and he actually had the garage door opener like way back here and then he had a long bar connected to it to pull the garage door up because he didn't have clearance. And so I was doing research on my own and I come across one um, little thread and uh, one of the guys on there was like, oh, well, the one Genie 1000 Silent Max, the rail's only an inch and three quarter, or I think it's inch and, yeah, I think he said inch and three quarter thick. And I'm like, well, that sounds like that might work. Because the thing is, is most other rails are about three inches high, and the carriage rides along the outside of it. Um, where you can see on this one, the carriage is actually running inside the rail, so you don't need any top clearance on it. So I was thinking, oh, that, you know, that might work for me. So I went ahead and uh, bought this one. And if you look, this rail, uh, with, with the way I have it, and I have it about, uh, let me go ahead and put this down. I have it down from the top of the ceiling right here, this bracket, about a quarter inch. So it brings the rail up, so you've only got eh, about an eighth inch clearance on the top, which is enough for it. And then down here, where the motor connects, it actually drops down to uh, about an inch and three quarters, because you have the side rail, or the side pieces here, that they are the length they are, so you got to have that spacing. So anyways, that ends up working out pretty good, and as you can see, I've got plenty of clearance. Now I'm going to take it in for a close-up real quick. I'll borrow the camera from my wife taping. And you can see I did a small notch right here just to give it that little extra. Sorry. You can see it gives it just that little extra depending on how that flexes. I just wanted to make sure that that wouldn't fit on here. Or the, the edge won't catch on the rail at all. So it was just, you know, taking it and giving it a little extra. But like I said, you can see, um, I don't know how well you can see, I grabbed the big fat max tape measure. This rail sitting down an inch and a half. And like I said, at its lowest point, the door is actually, I'm sorry, it's an inch and three quarter from the ceiling down to the edge of the door. So technically there should be a quarter inch there, but like I said, I just want to give it a little more room by making that notch depending on how this is pushing. So we'll go ahead and uh, lock this in. Uh, it should catch on the way up. So we'll go ahead and just operate it with the regular. Nope, it didn't. Sorry. Uh, oh, because I got that released down. There we go. So now, if you concentrate right here, you'll see we've got plenty of clearance. Oh, she's going to go all the way down. And now we'll go up. You'll see you got a little bit of flex there, but plenty of clearance. And then since the door rail drops down, so there you go. 
So if you're looking and you have the problem of having a low clearance garage door and everybody's telling you, oh, you can't install a garage door opener, you can't install a garage door opener, this is the solution. It's the Genie Silent Max 1000. Um, or there is one other brand, it's a German one, I don't remember what it is, that has a carriage that runs inside the rail. That one's a little more sophisticated. If you look up to it, you'll see it's uh, a little bit too much for me. Uh, I'll include the link below to this actual garage door opener, so if you need it. Um, but anyways, as always, big thumbs up is always appreciated. Any comments or questions, you know, I'll answer them as best I can. And I'll tell you if I can't, if I don't know the answer. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.